Singapore is Southeast Asia's most important financial country, mainly because of the role it plays in spurring investments around the region. And amongst the countries in this region, Indonesia is regarded as one of Singapore's most loved destinations for investments due to its economic importance in the future as a powerhouse. And according to the Investment Coordinating Board, BKPM of Indonesia, Singapore has stood out as the largest source of foreign investment in the nation. It has been consecutively for years since 2014, and in 2020, these foreign investments amounted to over 9.8 billion US dollars, far more than the next two, China and Hong Kong, which both invested 4.8 billion and 3.5 billion dollars respectively. So how did Singapore emerge as Indonesia's largest foreign investor? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Singapore and Indonesia have one of the largest bilateral trade amongst the ASEAN bloc, amounting to 36.3 billion dollars of total trade in 2020. This and the investment trends have risen due to a lot of factors, but among all the happenings between the two nations is the agreement called the Singapore-Indonesia Bilateral Investment Treaty or BIT for short. This was enacted way back in 2006, which was provisioned to explore stronger relations with each other. This helped push investments, trade, and improve relations with one another. And throughout the next years, this BIT would be updated and improved, and the latest one came into effect just in March of 2021. This contemporary treaty is now expected to further increase the investments between Singapore and Indonesia, and by 2030, the investments between the two have the potential to reach over $200 billion, making the two nations' relationship to be one of a kind. These investments today are influenced by numerous factors. The largest driver, however, is being done by the private equity which are institutional investors of Singapore and the government-run organizations such as Tamil sec and its sovereign wealth fund called GIC. The GIC's investments in Indonesia are being seen as a key source of funding. It has invested so much in the nation. In the last decade, its most notable investments are in Trans Retail, a retail company operating supermarkets, Nusantara Sajatara Raya, owner of the theater chain, and even a joint investment project with Rajawali for property developments. Just these three amounted to more than a billion dollar worth of investment investments. But that's not what made GIC exciting. What's really outstanding is today and in the future. Currently, GIC is among the largest venture capital fund for Indonesian startups, meaning they have helped fund startups like Bukalapak, Siapad Express, and even purchased a stake in the nation's first fully digital bank called Bank Jago. Besides Singapore's sovereign wealth fund, Tamasek Holdings, which is also state-owned investment management of Singapore, is also an active investor. And Temasek is probably a more profound active investor compared to GIC, or you can also say Temasek is making one of the largest investments in the nation's startups. It is mainly because of their recent large investments in Gojek and Tokopedia, which eventually became the go-to group, but the government itself has recently announced over $9.2 billion worth of investments in Indonesia, which will primarily go into green investments such as renewable energy and building a logistics port hub which will also be key in improving Indonesia's overall trade. At the same time, the two nations have also signed a defense agreement, which we think will play a role in further improving Indonesia and Singapore's relations. So why did Singapore choose Indonesia? Well, we can take the words of the current Prime Minister, Lee Hussein Loom, who stated that their government is encouraging Singapore's businesses to do more in Indonesia, mainly because Indonesia's business environments is improving, and this is very much evident in its ease of doing business ranking in the world stage. In 2013, it was ranked at 129th, but in 2020, it began to rise and is now 73rd. Although this is a very high overview, we could honestly see this in Indonesia's business landscape through the policy improvement over the years. Previous policies like the foreign ownership limit were always a bottleneck to the economy, and when this was eased, obviously there will be a rush of foreign investments, which in turn helped increase market competitiveness. But there are far more reasons why Indonesia is becoming the prime investment destination. We could say it's because of its economy, its growing digital adoption, or even the rise of startups. Regardless, Indonesia is primed to be a key investment destination for decades to come.